In the previous video, we created this sample title block in the model space and we used NCA paper size, which is 11 by 8.5 inches paper. And we have used this architectural unit format or the imperial unit format so far. So now we'll add the fields, text and other information in the title block and we'll use it in a drawing. So let's get started. All right, so we have already created this title block text style. Now it's time to use this one and we'll start using it from this block. So here we have this revision section and the information related to drawing revision is generally mentioned here. So that's what we are going to do. So I'll go to this text and select multi line text. Now I'll make a box here. Okay, and I'll add revision well revisions that's fine that's enough information for this so we want to have all the drawing revisions here so let's select move and let's move it a little bit towards right now you can type the number of revision like one two three four so on and you can add different information for example the revision note, the person who did the revision and the date. So these are the different uh, informations that you can obviously add here. So let's just do that quickly. So I'll add one information here. Revision note. And similarly, you can add remaining information just to keep things simple. I'm not adding all the information. I'm only adding some of the sample information here. Let's move to this block here. Now here you can add other information like drawn on that's the date on which date the drawing was made also checked by the person who checked this and the name of your client. So let's add that quickly. So I'll go to multi line text and make a box here and let's type this drawn on. All right. Now, instead of using that tool again and again, now you can make a copy of this. But before that, let's select it and move it properly within this box. So again, I'll select this, press enter, and I'll just move it a little bit over here. All right. Now let's go to copy, select it, press enter, and move it down like this and move it down again. So these are the three copies which I'm going to make. Now double click on this one and change its name. And it should be checked by. And here the name of client. So let's type client. All right, so there we have it. Now let's move to this one. Here we have the logo section where you can add the client's logo or your own logo. Uh, preferably this will be the uh, section for your own logo because this blog will be used for the information of your current drawing so this is the client section you can add logo of your client here if you want for now we'll use this to add our own logo now we'll add information in these two sections and here again you can make a copy of these text which we already made so i'll just select it select copy and i'll copy it right over here then over here so these are the two copies and here you can type project and drawing so the name of your project and the drawing name there are a lot of other fields also that you can use uh, that you can fill here for example you can add the scale of your drawing your sheet number the drawing number, the revision and other information. So that completely depends upon you how you want to use this title block. For this case, I'm just keeping those fields empty. But now we'll add some fields here also. So fields are some dynamic information that change automatically once added. And before adding field, let's just move this one also a little bit towards right because that's overlapping our lines. So I'll just select move and I'll move it like this. All right, that seems appropriate. Now the text size looks a little big in this case. So I'll use a different text size for our fields. And for that, I'll once again go to annotation and this small text style icon that will open this text style. We already have this title block text style. Let's create a new one. So new and let's name it as fields. Okay. 
and here in the height section let's change it to one eighth of an inch so now I'm decreasing the height a little bit and close it all right now we can use the fields so to add the fields you can use its command F I E L T and press enter so the first field which I'm gonna use is date and for that I'll go to other system variable and here I'll select date so let's just scroll down here and let's select date and here I'll select this format of date so 3rd May 2018 so that's the format which I'm going to select click on OK and look at this so now we have this field on our cursor and it's taking the text style from the text style which we just created I'll simply place it here and it will be shown with this gray background don't worry about that when you plot your drawing it will be plotted like a simple text without this gray background and also you can see that the size of this field is little smaller than this one so that's the field which we added now here in this section the checked by section you can add the name of the author of your drawing or whoever created the drawing and for that once again I'll use the field now I'll go to the same drop down and I'll select document and in this case we are interested in author name so I'll select author I'm not going to select any uppercase or lowercase formatting I'll simply select none okay and I'll add the name of author right over here maybe you can just move it a little bit to the downward side like this now we can simplify this by removing this by section from there okay to make more room for this author name all right now let's move to this and here we can add the project name and the drawing name as well so let's do that again I'll go to field press enter and this time I'll select title so we want to add the title of our drawing so I'll select title well none again okay and here the drawing title right now you can see only dash these dashes here well that's because we don't have anything defined here in this case but when you add your title block in any actual drawing with these fields are defined they will automatically populate the information right from that drawing if you want to add other information like the viewport scale of your sheet set you can do that so let's do that here so I'll press enter and that will repeat this field command and now I'll go to sheet set and I'll select sheet set placeholder and viewport scale and I'll select use scale name and now click on OK and I'll select this area to place this viewport scale right now it is overflowing that boundary that's fine because viewport scale will obviously not take that much space here in the actual drawing so we have added a lot of information in this drawing if you want to add any static information for example the name of your client if you want to add that simply go to the text again create a new text and it will be now added with the smaller text size and let's say that in this case we want to add the name of client as source card so there we go so that's source card and maybe a little bit more about source card so b1128a and just click outside there like this so that's the little bit of name and the address now we will save this title block as a template but mostly title blocks are used from the layout space and right now we have it in the model space so we need to move it to the layout first you can use this directly in the model space as well if you want and you can now add your drawings within this title block area and you can plot your drawing if that's what you want you can clearly do that but generally we plot our drawings from the layout so we'll move it to the layout and to do that I'll select the command copy base so type copy base press enter select a base point I'll select this lower left corner as a base now select everything and press enter so everything has been copied in your clipboard and we'll use that in a moment now let's go to layout and here we have an existing viewport let's just erase it we don't need it anymore we also have this paper and we don't know the size of this paper so the first thing which we are going to do is change the size of paper to NCA so right click on this layout one and select page setup manager now go to this layout one modify and now you can change your settings so I'm going to change only two settings 
the plotter i'm selecting dwg to pdf you can select any plotter which you want or any installed plotter any physical plotter in this case i'll just keep this dwg to pdf and the paper size is nca so let's look for that paper so we have this full bleed paper which we are not going to use because in this case we don't have any margins well this is the paper which we will use so we have this nca expanded size and that's the one the landscape view which i am going to use 11 by 8.5 that's the one that i needed and now with these changes i'll simply click on ok and close so that's the nca size of paper now we need to bring our title block here so let's type paste clip so paste clip we have already copied this from the model space so paste clip press enter and it will bring it directly here and remember the base point that was lower left so it will now paste it using that lower left corner as the base point now i'll make sure that i click well within this plotter margin because anything which is beyond this plotter margin the dot line will not show up on your final drawing now we have it here but there's a problem it's overflowing that plotter margin as well as the paper area so we need to bring it properly inside and to do that i'll select this is stretch command okay now i selected the command i'll make this crossing window and just carefully make this kind of window so that these two areas are crossed this line as well as this line are crossed by this crossing window press enter click on a point and now carefully move it inside like this repeat the process for this side as well so i'll go to this stretch again click anywhere here move to the left and press enter click and i'll move like this i'll repeat it again a stretch and this time up to this point and move it inside and there we have it it is now well within our plotter margins and this is now prepared finally so let's just rename this layout so layout one right click select rename and let's rename it as nca and let's delete this layout too as well we only want a single layout all right so we have this model space which should be empty now and we can just get rid of this from the model space because we don't want anything in the model space we only want it in the layout but if you want it in the model space as well just keep it there now we will save this as a template file so that it can be used again and again so i'll go to this application button save as drawing template and this will take you to this template folder which is buried deep within your installation directory you can see that so if you want to save it here that's fine you can do that else you can select a location i'll select desktop so first make sure dwt is selected now go to the desktop where you want to save it in the your case it might be something else some other location maybe your network drive and then give it a name so i'll name it as nca template and save if you want to add any description that's fine you can do that else click on ok and there we have it so we have our template file on the desktop and you can now use that template file to open your drawing whenever required now let's just close it okay now we'll use this template the template which we just created to add a title block in any existing drawing and for that i'll open a drawing which i already have on the desktop so i'll go to application open and i'll open a drawing well i'll go to desktop and there we have it we have a drawing called foundation plan well i'll select that click on open and there we have it so this is the drawing which i have and right now if you notice here in the layout we don't have any specific kind of template or anything special so far here in this we only have these two layouts now let's add that template with the title block and everything else which we just now created so for that i'll right click on this model tab and select this option from template well this will obviously open the template folder but we want the template which we created so i'll go to desktop nca template click on open 
and we only have a single layout that's NCA click on that select it and look at this we now have that NCA and if you zoom into this look at this everything is now added exactly as per our requirement and also we have the date and if you have already defined your viewport scale in a sheet set it will show it here right now it's not showing and we have this checked as well as drawing section which is still not showing but it should show the information the relevant information well to make it visible you can regenerate so let's type r e a that's regenerate all command and that will in a way refresh your drawing so now press enter and look at this so we have the relevant information so check by jayaprakash that's my name and the foundation plan is the name of this drawing so these two information are already defined in the drawing now we can maybe move this foundation plan well within this block the title block and there we have it so that's how you can use fields to intelligently add information in your title block right now the viewport scale is still not refreshed because we are not using a sheet set and that's the viewport of a sheet set and also we don't have the viewport yet so let's add a viewport but still after adding the viewport we won't see the viewport scale because we are not using the sheet set viewport so that's a different thing and if you want to learn more about sheet set you can go to the link in the description and there's a course which you can follow now moving on to this let's add the drawing here and for that i'll go to this layout tab go to this rectangular and make a rectangular viewport and the drawing is now added like this and we have the drawing we have this complete template with the title block and everything else and you can now plot your drawing from this if you want or if you want to simply add more layouts follow the same step right click from template and you can just keep on making more templates and add your drawing like this so that was all about creating our own title block with the fields text and other information and converting them into a template and using it in actual drawings so if you have any question related to that let me know in the comment box and don't forget to share this video and thanks again for watching